Uh, 4.34 a.m. Oh, Coda, you look so tired. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to Bowen Island. It's been a while. We went there one other time. Uh, we got a couple things to see. I got like a list of like a dozen things. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. We're only going there for a day trip, just outside Vancouver. And yeah, this should be a good little trip. Bowen Island Trail Guide and Review. He doesn't look pleased. <laughs> like I didn't sign up for this. It's too early, isn't it? <laughs> so this video is the ultimate guide for Bowen Island. We spent the entire day exploring the island and I have to admit we found tons of fun things to do all year round. But... Alright so we missed the first ferry. We we're gonna get the sunrise but uh, we'll see the sunrise on the ferry I think. Sorry Coda we missed it. Time to go to sleep. Oh he's awake now. Look at him. <laughs> Like, yeah, but this place is catchy. Do you find this place catchy, bud? Does it look like a doggy park? <laughs> Did you think we're going to doggy park? <laughs> Sorry, baby. It's an easy day trip from Vancouver. There's tons of buses you can hop on that will take you directly to the Horseshoe Bay Ferry Terminal where you take a quick 30 minute ferry ride before arriving on Bowen Island. We decided to drive so we could see everything and I definitely recommend taking some sort of transportation. You can rent bikes or scooters on Bowen Island. There is bus service but with a car it cost us just over $50 round trip for the ferry ride. <laughs> Coda, how was your first ferry ride? Coda, how's your first ferry ride? arrived on Bowen Island a little after 7 a.m. and although we missed the sunrise we still decided to check out our first stop Doorman Point Lookout. All right our first stop is Criffin Regional Park on Bowen Island walking distance from Snug Cove and the BC Ferry Terminal. This is Doorman Point Lookout. It should be interesting. You can see Coda already marked it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go and check this uh, viewpoint out. Okay, so our first stop on Bowen Island was the Dorman Point Lookout. The beauty of this stop is it's walking distance from the BC Ferry Terminal on Bowen Island. It's a short and easy hike that'll only take you about an hour of your time. And if you have transportation, you can get within 200 meters of the viewpoint and be there within 10 minutes. All right, so yeah, we're on Dorman Point here. We got a nice little bench, so a nice view, and yeah, we're just gonna have breakfast, enjoy it, and get ready for a big day. At the top, there's several spots you can sit, an awesome bench where you can take in the views of Howe Sound, Horseshoe Bay, and BC Ferries as they prepare to dock. So after our quick and tranquil breakfast, our second stop on Bowen Island is Killarney Lake in Crippen Regional Park. This is the largest lake on Bowen Island with roughly 8 kilometers of easy walking trails, picnic areas, creeks, bridges, bird watching, and washrooms all within this ecological reserve. Alright, so the Killarney Lake is so quiet. I'm literally the only one here. It's still pretty early, but it's a Saturday, so 
tells you how busy it's gonna get. Anyways, on the map of Killarney Lake, it says there's three viewpoints if you walk around the lake. I don't think it's a long hike around the lake, but we got a lot to see, so I'm not gonna go the other viewpoints. This one's pretty sweet. You can see the entire lake from here. And uh, yeah, uh, we got a lot more to see though, so I won't be walking around the lake. But who knows, maybe I'll come back. So I never did end up hiking around Killarney Lake, but online it says the trail around the lake takes about two hours to do. Which is kind of surprising because it doesn't seem that long, but there seems to be three viewpoints along the way. This is one of them. The other two seem like it takes a small hike up to the viewpoint, but overall it doesn't look like anything difficult. All right, our third stop here in Bowen Island is the Opa tree. Now our third stop on Bowen Island is the ancient Opa tree. This thousand year old Douglas fir is located within walking distance from Killarney Lake. It is on private property, but if the gates open, I definitely recommend checking it out. We drove right up to the tree. They take donations, but if you can't afford it, no one's going to harass you and just take in nature. It's incredibly beautiful and it's incredible to think of how much history this tree has lived through and seen. So our next stop on our day trip to Bowen Island was the Mount Gardner hike. Mount Gardner, let's keep going. This is the big hike. It takes you to the highest elevation on Bowen Island and it'll give you the most spectacular views right around Bowen Island, but it isn't easy. The official trailhead starts near Killarney Lake, but there's tons of alternate trails you can take up from various points around Bowen Island. All right, so we're about an hour into the Mark Gardner hike and check this out. We found this little viewpoint just off the trail. There's no signs or anything. Kind of got lucky on this one. We're gonna take a little snack break. Um, yeah, an hour in, we're really taking our time. The dog is keeping us behind, but it's probably us. <laughs> yeah, so we're a lot of shape, but uh, we'll continue on. <laughs> yeah, the Mark Garner views though, I think they're gonna be pretty spectacular. I would recommend getting a map of trails on Bowen Island before hiking this. So you can plot your way up and down, but it's definitely not necessary. We never had one and just followed the signs up. But if we did have one, we could have taken a more secluded route to the top. This is the most popular hike on Bowen Island, so you are likely to run into other people if you stick to the main path up. That being said, the Mount Gardner hike is significantly less crowded than a lot of the other hikes in the Vancouver area. About two hours into the Mark Gardner hike, you'll come across this viewpoint. It's a popular spot to stop with cliff views of Keats Island and the Sunshine Coast. In some ways, it actually has better views than the summit on Mount Gardner, but you'll definitely want to keep hiking the next 30 minutes to get to the top. The rest of the way is fairly easy. To get to the summit of the Mount Gardner hike, it took us just about two and a half hours with an elevation gain of over 700 meters. But at the top, it had incredible 360 degree views of Horseshoe Bay, downtown Vancouver, and the Sunshine Coast. It had two elevated platforms and a ton of spots just to sit, relax, and enjoy the beauty. If you're going to Bowen Island, you're definitely going to want to check out some of the local small businesses in the area. Immediately from the BC Ferry Terminal, you'll find tons of local coffee shops, candy shops, restaurants, and anything else you can think of. There's really no franchises on Bowen Island. It's just local, hardworking small businesses here to support. We ended up in the Artisan Square which is just up the hill from the ferry terminal. All right, so this artisan market, um, we found this gelato place, uh, it's really good. Everything here is small businesses, so a little more expensive, but this is really good. 
Mm. All right, off to the next stop. So if you're going to Bowen Island, make sure you have transportation. Because next on our day trip list of things to do on Bowen Island is just to explore the island. If you're going to walk on a BC Ferries to Bowen Island, make sure you either rent a bike, scooter, or take the public buses on the island. Because there's just so much to explore. It surprisingly takes over half an hour driving to get to one side of the island to the other. In the meantime, you'll enjoy beautiful views, natural forests, quiet streets, and taking some incredible views of the ocean, all while checking out these unique houses and properties on Bowen Island. We eventually ended up at Cates Bay Beach on Bowen Island. One thing you'll find a lot of on Bowen Island is public beaches. They surround the island and because of the limited population, the amount of beaches on Bowen Island and the fact you have to take a ferry to get here, as you can see, the beaches are fairly empty. Here on Cates Bay Beach, the views were nice with the incredible mountains in the background. We never did end up getting to spend a lot of time here, but if you're planning on visiting Bowen Island, don't forget to visit the beaches. All right, so this one's gonna be fun. We're here on Bowen Island and they have a Frisbee disc golf course free to use. I purposely went out and bought a Frisbee just for this. It actually looks pretty cool. They have, uh, I don't know, a couple greens. They have a little, <laughs> a little disc hole over there. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna play a little game and see who wins. Yes, you heard that right. There's a free disc golf course on Bowen Island. Located at Veterans Park, you'll find this wooden, newly made nine hole golf course. The trails and fairways are a little rough, but very playable. Bring your own equipment because you can't rent anything here. We only brought one frisbee and made our own rules, but we spent a good hour here playing and had a ton of fun. To tie it up. Tie it up, five three, it's not tie it up. Ooh, you only lost for one point. Okay, so we ended up making it to the next stop just in time. This is Riley Cider on Bowen Island. Riley Cider is new on Bowen Island, having just opened in 2021, but a worthwhile stop to make. They have an excellent patio, tasting room, and everything's handcrafted on Bowen Island. This orchard was planted over 30 years ago with a variety of over a thousand different kinds of apples. Do a little cider tasting on this family run business and relax after a long day of Bowen Island. All right, so if you're coming to Bowen Island, you've got to do the Sea Walk Trail. Look at that background, just absolutely gorgeous. So yes, the Sea Walk Trail is without a question something you're going to want to do when you're visiting Bowen Island. It's a rather easy trail that begins near Collinwood Lane and ends near the Kate Rogers Curtis Lighthouse. It's just over two kilometers, but it only takes you about 30 minutes to complete. It's a quiet, gorgeous and peaceful trail that hugs around the coast of the water. There's endless places to stop and get some pretty amazing pictures, sitting areas to watch the wildlife, and every turn you take on this trail is so photogenic. So that's my ultimate day trip guide to Bowen Island. If there's anything I missed and you wanted to add it, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, like the video, and until later, I'll see you later.